Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Scrap Mechanic here on the channel. We're going to be taking our first steps into the world of modded Scrap Mechanic as a mod has been made for the game. I do believe it is the first one made. It is called Substituous's A Few More Blocks Mod. In short it's known as SAFMB and there's a good chance that I butchered the guy's name there but apologies for that. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to check out the blocks right here, how they look, the textures, what they look like in the inventory, and then we're going to jump into a tutorial where I'll show you how to install the mod. So, let's start off with going through the inventory right here. The new modded blocks are all in pink. You can see their names are pink on the side. They've got a pink little bar underneath them, and if we scroll down, you can see that they all appear at the top here. So let's go through them one by one. We've got mahogany wood, pine, silver birch, maple, sugar maple, redwood, willow, acacia and then down here we have some of the barrier blocks we've got red and black, orange and black and blue and black then over here yellow and white, red and white, orange and white and also blue and white as well and then down the bottom we've got some alternatives to the bricks we've got the red bricks, the dark red, the yellow and this one over here which is black now you'll notice that these blocks look slightly different from the shape of the original ones. That's something I thought I'd point out. Also these two are actually modded ones as well but they have a blue bar underneath. I've just noticed that. That's a little bit odd isn't it? Uh, one of them is the indestructible block which looks pretty amazing when you place it down on the ground and we also got the spaceship hull block which looks really interesting. Anyway let's jump out of the inventory here and just walk over them. So the same order you saw them in the inventory is the same order that they appear right here. They're very nice textures. I like the way that they're coloured and if we hop over the back here you can see all of the barriers now I put this one here for comparison as the orange looks quite similar to the yellow one right uh, but there you go and then over here we've got the the white and coloured ones which look really good if we pop back over here I put the original wood texture down for comparison although it doesn't really look too similar to that block maybe this one over here and press the wrong button there <laughs> and that's about it really. It maybe looks a little bit similar to the acacia as well. Now if we pop back here you can see the spaceship holes. This one right here looks really cool. The one next to it is the indestructible block and I love this glow effect that it's got and it's sort of reflective as well. It is really nice and uh, it's interesting. I've been wondering how this mod's been made because the other ones are obviously just flat textures whereas this one's got like you know its own little glow effect going on and fascinating stuff. I really like how that one looks and then over here we've got the brick types as well and there's the original one for comparison so we checked out everything the mod has to offer now let's jump into the tutorial and I'll show you how to install this so the first thing to do is to load up your web browser and navigate to this website here and of course there'll be a link to it in the description box once the web page has loaded you just need to scroll down to the bottom and there's a link right here so you click on that and then you save it onto your computer and of course make sure you know where you're saving it because we're going to need to open this file in the next step. So you need to grab the file that you downloaded, put it on your clipboard and paste it into this folder here and this is where we're going to be modding the game. So you need to navigate to this same folder, it's likely it'll be on the same location on your computer too. That's the C drive, go into Program Files 86, then Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Scrap Mechanic, then Data. And you should see these folders in this folder. Now I would recommend that you back up the entire game and all of your save data before you do this and I'm going to show you how to back up the bare minimum in this one but it's always really important to do backups if you've got the space on your drive to do so you know rather do that than have an issue but anyway the two folders that you do want to back up are GUI and objects so we're going to select both of those we're going to copy them and paste them again here and that's going to rename them so now we've got a backup of both of those on the computer. The next thing to do is to extract the files from the zip folder. Depending on what program you use, this might be slightly different, but I have 7-zip. I go to extractor A, sorry, SAFMB, and it puts it into a folder with that name. So we then want to go into that folder, go into data, and copy GUI and objects like this. Then we're going to go back to the folder we were in previously and then we're going to right click and paste. Now I get a prompt and it's on the other screen to overwrite the files you just want to overwrite any file that it says um, that you need to do so because we're editing the data that's already there and that's actually it we've now successfully backed it up so you should be able to load up the game go into it um, play it with the mods and if you have any issues or whatever you've got your backups right here so you can delete the objects in the GUI folder and then rename these ones to have 
the same name. So now we're going to pop back into Scrap Mechanic and you can see it's successfully been modded. So one thing that's important to do is to mark which of your welds are modded. I've simply called this one modded so we could go into that and load it and that I guess would be proof that it's been successfully modded as of course I uninstalled the mod in order to do this video after creating it. So let's pop into this world and we should see all of the blocks again. Everything should be fine. And here we go. Yep, successfully modded. There's all of our blocks and that's how you do it. So that concludes this tutorial. The link to the mod can be found in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you for the support. If you want to share this with your fellow scrap mechanics, I'm sure they will be uh, more than interested in some new building options. And as always, feel free to tweet me any of the cool stuff you build with these new blocks. I love checking out the things that you guys do too in Scrap Mechanic. And uh, that's it for me this video. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing for more Scrap Mechanic and modded Scrap Mechanic, of course. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.